UK Demo Motorbox here and I've just finished college. It is four o'clock now. Yeah, I thought it was just an induction day, but no. You had to bring your chef white, so about 11 o'clock I rushed home on the bike to go get them. But I was on a bad day. We made donuts, um, sticky buns, um, ice buns, and uh, like a cream bun with jam and like a cream donut really. So we made them and I was like shit I ain't got no money so I can't buy much. Because they make you pay for them obviously because you've used their ingredients and um, I've looked at it and I'm like shit I've got no money. And the teacher turns around he's Claire. Well it was today it's not going to be anymore. Who's Claire and she went everything's free. I was like oh shit yeah fuck this shit I'm taking all this shit home so I've got in my bag a half a ton of an Oxford lock with donuts on top ice buns and um, cream donuts sort of things because I don't like sticky buns and you're probably wondering oh he's got a new bike and then he's got some he's got no mirrors he's got no he's got some orange rings in front of his levers oh no people these are my new handguards um, I thought about having the ones that you drill in, but I couldn't be arsed with all the fuss and just drill in and then just making a mess. So I thought, why not buy the ones that hook onto your handlebars? They'd be easy enough to install. So I got them, got everything with that, and it has a hooky bit, but you can't get it past your like brake fluid and your clutch so it's like shit I'm gonna have to move them so I've moved them and my brake's a bit higher but I prefer it like that if I'm honest so it's just on the tip of my finger and I just pull it and it's, that's it so I'm probably breaking the speed limit right now so oh well I want to go home because I'm freaking boiling but I've done everything like that and Clutch is a bit more like it's always been a bit wobbly if I'm honest, but don't bother me entirely that much. Pretty sure I'm indicator on by the time he asked. I'm gonna be careful here because I've got half a ton of a freaking lock in my bag that weighs bloody more than me. I should have to pick it up with two hands because that's heavy. Well I'm still getting used to it so I was sort of using one is now because I'm here in no, not really. but take it to college because I don't trust well the car parking for bikes there while well, the bike parking is just a normal car parking space but like you could put a bar or something so we can hook our change to it it'd probably be easier so we can trust that they're gonna be safe but no I don't do that. So imbeciles. We were thinking, hmm, my bike's a bit loud right now. Yeah, I've got the choke on to warm it up. Probably not that one. Uh, so, I sort of have to park in the back of the building. But unfortunately for me, that's all gravel, so. I was shitting a brick line off all over. But it's been okay. Your back end wobbles tons, obviously. But apart from that, it's okay. Fuck drain. Don't like drains on this road. Can't you? But it's been okay, yeah can't really complain if I'm honest don't know if I need fuel I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow morning when I go back but it's just oh and another thing I've got my hand guards but the case with my Renfalls is they've gone missing well my Renfall 
has gone missing. I ordered it off eBay, put the same address on as this. I don't think it was posted by the same people. As it's arrived at a different dress. And and it's been signed by another bloke saying he'd take it, so I've obviously reported like that's not my signature, blah blah blah. He went, Oh, if that's not your signature then we're gonna have to report it to the police because it's opening a package that does opening something that doesn't belong to you and maybe use it so it's like stealing well theft really and stealing so I'm like oh but do I really want to go for that trouble but at the same time it's mine I ordered it I paid the tenner why should he get away with it so I'm gonna have to call up the company tomorrow because it's four o'clock they'll probably be closed now and just say like can you report it to the Royal Mail and we'll go for whatever but I wouldn't mind it's I think it was twelve pound because it's ten pound plus two pound delivery. But I wouldn't mind the company that done it. They seem loyal enough because they're a high-rated company on um, eBay. So they seem great enough, and plus it's in Coventry, and there's a few reviews on Google about their shop in Coventry. So I sort of thought most loyal players do that, but they're like, oh, you need to report, you need to do this. But no offence you need to report it and you need to do it like I'm not the bloke that's gone through Royal Mail and asked it to go through Royal Mail I could have asked it to be with UPS if I wanted it but no they have to be cocky little fellas and do it like that anyway yeah, nice like but so they're gonna have to sort it with Royal Mail and and just see where it gets me in a couple of months oh, I don't even think I'm going to see it again, no offence to Royal Mail, but parcels go missing all the time, but it's not the point really, is it? If you're indicator on love, just confuse the hell out of me but I'm going to go guys, so Peace out and smile later and please like and subscribe. See ya.